India has arrived on the global scale, so it's no different in the case of cybercrime. In the past, India used to be several years behind the global scenario in most situations. If you can see, we didn't get those uh, Hollywood movies on day one, we didn't get the best books here, but now we get it. So when we get all those goodies, we also get the bad things. So the cybercrime situation in India is no different than the most sophisticated cybercrime you would see around the world. As you can see, one of the big changes which is happening is that uh, earlier a lot of cybercrime were uh, not motivated by an organized criminal group. That's changed now. Uh, because in the past we were talking about fragmented systems. If you broke into something, you got some information which you could use potentially or sometimes not. But nowadays with full digital end-to-end -end systems being completely automated, you have a great ability to make uh, a lot of money if you break into organizations, either direct financial interest or indirect financial interest. And we are seeing a large number of organized criminals working both in the enterprise as well as the personal space uh, as far as computer science.